Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade and this is How to App on iOS. And today is the album launch of Night Train 1988 for the Human Endeavour. So, strap yourselves in. It is a premiere. And it's flipping awesome. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today is finally the premiere of Night Train 1988's brand new album, The Human Endeavour. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Night Train while everybody rolls in and we'll say hello once we've got a few people here and all that jazz. I'm going to read from his blurb that he wrote and I encourage you all to take at least an hour of your time to write a blurb about yourself. It's an incredibly healthy thing to do. Yes. And um, he, I asked Night Train to write a blurb about himself and um, he did such a good job because normally, you know, people will overwrite I didn't have to edit it at all. I thought it was perfect how it was. So, Night Train 1988, otherwise known as Al, is a musician from the UK. Let me do this. Let me grab this. I'll start again. Get your shit together, Jade. You loser. Um, <laughs> Night Train 1988, uh, also known as Al, is a musician from the UK who has spent the last almost 30 years playing drums and singing backing vocals in various original and cover bands in his local area. In early 2021 and uh, in the throes of a global pandemic, Al discovers GarageBand and starts writing and recording music. As a lifetime fan of progressive rock, along with a recently discovered love of electronic music, Night Train 1988 was born. In October 2021, from Boy to Man, his debut album was released, proving to be a form of therapy for Al, addressing various pivotal points from his life. Fast forward to now and the release of The Human Endeavor, the second full-length album from Night Train, 1988. The album addresses the impact we have on our fragile world, as well as how we treat one another. The Human Endeavor will be released on streaming services on the 4th of November, 2022. There you go. So there's a, a short bio. Wonderful stuff. So now we know a little bit about Al, who was on Thomas Christ's show yesterday, did a, a short interview there. He's been on my show as well uh, in the uh, last year where I did an interview with him regarding, it was around his album that he dropped then. And this album is absolutely stellar, folks, let me tell you. So it roughly clocks in at about an hour and 15 minutes. And um, so I'm just passing a little bit of time now to uh, give us a little bit of time in. And, um, and then at the end of the show, I'll come back and have a brief chat before we dump you all over to Thomas Christ, You Rock. So the timing has worked out really good. Um, let's say hello to folks who are here right now who I can see in the chat. Lou Reality's here. Um, where are my comments not working today? Did I not paste them in? Hang on a minute. What's going on? <laughs> did I not paste in my comments? I probably did it. Am I back? There I am. Comments. There they are. They're working. Hey, Hugh Caldwell, Tom Carraher, Lou Reality, Russ 8889, Night Train the Man himself is here. Thomas Christ is here as well. Brad Example, Kim Harden Hudson. Did I say Cy F and good to see you? Deep Gravity's here as well. Thank you all for being here. You're going to love this album. It's fantastic. It really is a sick album. Um, I've had the pleasure of hearing it. Have I missed anyone in the chat? If I've missed you, just say hello down the bottom and I'll grab you. Fat Panda Cat, hello to you. So um, I've had the privilege of hearing the entire album. 
of seeing the entire album. It's utterly amazing. It's it's next level. And I was lucky enough to be asked to perform on this album as well. So I sing on the last track on this album. Um, it's an incredibly moving song for me. Uh, it was really hard to do. It took me many months to be able to finish this song because it's very close to me. And I was sceptical that Night Train would be able to pull off a song about trans people because, you know, he's not one. And when I read the lyrics, my heart split in two. And then I had to sing those lyrics. And even now thinking about it, I'm starting to tear up. And every time I hear the song, it breaks my heart. He has done such an incredible job of capturing a song that I would, I would expect to come from a trans person's mind. So it's utterly beautiful. I can't wait for you to hear that. I can't wait for you to hear the entire album. It is utterly fantastic. Hello, Metalhead Hippie. Boom. Welcome along. Thank you all for being here and supporting Al today because that's what this is all about. He's an amazing artist. He's a beautiful human being. He's one of the sweetest, kindest human beings I have ever had the pleasure of meeting and chatting with. We've become closer friends during this time, more so towards the end of the recording where we'd have these Skype calls and and he just is a, a beautiful soul and he deserves... Much more than the 77 subscribers he's got on his channel. So, uh, yeah, during the show, please head over and subscribe to him because he's an incredible artist. There's a link up the top to his other music on Song Whip and all of that. So you can, and this album, as mentioned, will be released on November 4th. I know I'm talking way too much, but we're going to get down to it right now. This is the full album by Night Train 1988 called The Human Endeavor. Sit back, grab your favorite cup, which I have. I've got a coffee. I'll be in the chat hanging out with you all. Enjoy. This is The Human Endeavor, available November 4th. Be prepared. It's amazing. Let's do it.
there is perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known.
All the second stage tanks now pressurized. 35 seconds and counting. We are still go with Apollo 11. 30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. Fifteen seconds. Guidance is internal. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Thirty-two minutes past the hour.
just, you were looking at a, obviously a very disturbing live shot there. That is the World Trade Center, and we have unconfirmed reports this morning that a plane has crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. 28 countries with forces in the Gulf area have exhausted all reasonable efforts to reach a peaceful resolution. Have no choice but to drive Saddam from Kuwait by force. The UN has expressed fears of a full-scale war as the deadly conflict between the Israeli forces and Palestinians continues for a third day. Clearly something relatively devastating happening this morning there at the south end of the island of Manhattan. During the night, hundreds of American and British aircraft have mounted attacks on targets in Iraq and occupied Kuwait. Over 200 people have died in the last week, nearly all of them Palestinian. The airstrikes against targets in Gaza have continued throughout the night and into today. It hit directly in the middle of uh, one of the World Trade Center towers. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned Palestinian militants that this was just the beginning, threatening to strike with blows they haven't dreamed of. Yeah.
Why did you have to say that? I didn't say anything to you. Why did you have to do that? I didn't do anything to you. Why are you so hateful? You cannot change what's happening. Is it just frustration? Or is it the evil within? Why do you exclude me? Is it because I don't conform? You don't even know me. Is it because of where I'm from? You have strength in numbers. Brave because you're among your friends. I have been, 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 I have been,
been repeatedly assured there was there was no party. There was there was no there was no party. There was there was no party. There was there was no party. There was there was no there was no party. And that and that no COVID rules were broken, and that is what I have been repeatedly assured. Who governs a government? I hear you say, who holds them to account? From day to day, who do they tread upon? On their way, to satisfy their egos before the power goes away. Tell you what you want to hear, keep you at bay, keep you in the dark. That's where you'll stay, don't peep behind the curtain. That's what they'll say, it's for your own protection. Just walk away, money and power, goal of the day. Not a care for who gets in their way. Shall we go to war? Well, that really depends on whether we gain the power from the death of all the men who laid down their lives to line the pockets of men who hold the power, handing out their guns and rockets. It's our future generation who pay the price. We've got to stop these power hungry tyrants in their lives. Governments and governments. Hold men of power to account. They serve themselves till they found out. The rest of us just do it bad. Who governs the governments? Corruption assists by those of heart. The honest people don't know why. The power of we have to try. Who governs the governments? Upon the world stage, all over the earth The minimum wage shows how much you are worth People in power, where they don't work by the hour They just retreat and they cower into the ivory tower They don't have a clue what it is like to be you They say and they do what some believe to be true And left in their own, the path of power is shown And their inaction is known as people battle alone Two are the living, these times are now unforgiving Will they be staying or leaving as all their faith is receding? The poverty stricken decide on heeding or eating As the people in power sit on champagne at their meetings They claim their expenses to decorate second houses Their privilege shows within these privileged places Who can govern the men who don't govern themselves They want title and power above anything else Governments of government. Hold men of power to account. They serve themselves till they found out. The rest of us just do it bad. Who governs the government? Corruption consists by those of heart. The honest people don't know why. The power of we have to try. Who governs the government? Who governs the government from day to day? Who governs the government keep you at bay? Who governs the government? That's what they say. Who governs the government? Just walk away.
well. <laughs> what an amazing album, huh? What an amazing album. Um, if that didn't hit you in the fields, I don't know what will. Uh, you, you're a hard motherfucker if that doesn't hit you in some way or another. Um, <clears throat> it was a real struggle for me to get, every time I, hit, I listen to that final song, I, I struggle um, the whole album is absolutely amazing. Um, I agree. Somebody wrote here. Everybody needs to hear this. Everybody needs to hear this album. And um, I strongly suggest uh, Night Train that you uh, release this. Head over to Bandcamp, Night Train. Set up a Bandcamp and get this out before it drops. The album drops on streaming services on the 4th of November. Apple, Spotify, all that stuff. So not too far away. But I suggest you go and get it on Bandcamp. Put it on Bandcamp Night Train so people can buy it before it comes out on those streaming services and you get paid nothing because uh, I know I'll buy it. <laughs> and I sung on it and I'll buy it. Uh, yeah. So it took about a year to uh, create that album. All of it was recorded in GarageBand on iOS. All the video was made using LumaFusion, I do believe. And, um, yeah, so uh, Night Train reached out to me about, was it three months ago? <laughs> it's terrible. And asked me if I would sing on the song. He put together that song at the end there. And um, it just said everything that I wanted to say. And the reason it took me so long to finish the vocals was every time I tried to sing it, I burst into tears. It was just impossible to sing. It was so hard to sing that. And you know a song's, you know, you know music's good when it, it does that, it, that it cripples you so much that you can't perform it. Really amazing stuff. And again, like, look, uh, sitting here bawling my eyes out, I've gone through about 15 tissues through that whole thing. <laughs> it's not very becoming, but it is what it is. Um, I'll put the link to... Oh, Thomas Christ has already beaten me to it. There we go. So make sure you head over and subscribe, man, to Night Train. Because before this, he's got 77 subscribers. Man, I'm dribbling everywhere. I'm so <laughs> such a mess. No, thank you, Night Train, for the privilege of singing on your album and allowing me to add my voice to your song. Absolute honor. And... Thank you, Night Train, for reaching out and asking me to premiere the album. Um, and thank you for being here live and watching this. Uh, we, we got up to 30 people at one stage. That's incredible. Thank you so much for being here and supporting Al and his wonderful music and all the time he put into that beautiful, beautiful album. Um, what can I say? Absolutely sensational stuff. Um we got Thomas Christ coming up next. He is doing uh, the You Rock. So uh, this is the juice loosener for You Rock. <laughs> My juices have been loosened. <laughs> um, yeah, fantastic stuff. And everybody in the chat agrees. Fantastic album. It's just, just captivating. All the video was fantastic. It just matched so well. It was a journey. It's um, hopefully... Two, we've talked about this. I don't know. What do you guys think in the uh, <laughs> chat? I reckon uh, Night Train should release that last track as a single and do a shortened version with a lot of the, just the start and the middle taken out. Do a radio edit, a, like a three-minute version and the full version as a single, as an extended single and a radio edit. I think that'd be really, really cool. Um and yeah, but definitely get it on Bandcamp. Get your other album on Bandcamp too, because he has another album as well. Uh, the what is it called? Boy to Man. Oh, man, my brain's. It's called. Um, I should know this. I said it before. I think that's what it was called. Boy to Man. And he's got another album of covers as well. So go and check that out. That's on on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, another amazing album. Uh, both of them, uh, from boy to man, from boy to man. So I was close. <laughs> I'm too frazzled. All right, guys, um, I'm going to get out of here for today. 
what an easy show for me. But tomorrow will be a little bit different and I need to let you know what is happening tomorrow because it's important. Heading along the heavy subjects, I have these amazing ladies coming on the show tomorrow, starting at the normal time for uh, We All Rise Together, the Wart series number 20. And me and PA, Kim Hudson, Hudson, Laurie's Mishmosh, and Lou Reality, we're going to be talking about sexism in the music industry and um, comments that women get, women, uh, the, the inappropriate comments, uh, the, just, just we're going to get their opinion on how they feel about being a woman in the music industry. Yeah? So it's going to be fascinating stuff. So uh, leave your misogyny at the door if, they, if you've got any. But I think it's going to be a wonderful uh, conversation and we get to hear straight from the ladies' mouths, yeah, on sexism and uh, the way they're treated as musicians and all that kind of stuff. So that's happening tomorrow. So uh, good stuff. Hope to see you there. Should be an absolutely interesting conversation as always with our Wart episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up, hold on to your ankles, because as soon as this stream ends, you will be automatically dumped over to Thomas Christ Channel, so you can just kick back for 74 hours of You Rock live. <laughs> it's getting that way. And I'm going to kick back and enjoy the uh, music that Thomas is playing also. But once again, I want to thank all of you for being here. If you're watching on the replay, please Hit the like. Hit the like on the way out. Make sure you like the... the. Uh, I want to thank uh, people who uh, sent a couple of super chats. Thank you very much for those. Thank you for being here. Thank you on the replay. And I want to lastly thank Night Train 1988L, who produced a beautiful album once again and allowed me to sing on it. Absolute pleasure. All righty. Remember, folks... Do the things that make you happy, mistakes make you better, and we'll all rise together. And who knows? Maybe the world can change. Without hope, there's nothing. We'll see you tomorrow.